Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to listen to me. My name is Freedom Charo. I work with Britam as a financial advisor. I've been a financial advisor with Britam now for the last six years and I really love it. Prior to that, I was um, a, project, a project manager with an NGO company and uh, at the end of it all, I decided I wanted to become um, an international employee in an international firm, still in the NGO world. So guess what, I packed my bags and flew to Geneva to go and look for that international job that I, that I so desired. And I was mainly focused with WHO or all the global fund. But um, as God would have it, that didn't quite happen. The opportunity that came was to work uh, with an insurance company that was going to allow me to talk to these same international NGOs back in Geneva. However, I had to come back home. And uh, when I came back, I decided I was going to get into, insure, into an insurance company. Uh, hopefully, as I was waiting to go back to Geneva and start the, interna the job of insurance, selling insurance to the international companies out there. But uh, needless to say, six years down the road, I am totally committed to being a financial advisor at Britain. And that's what I do today. I love what I do because it gives me an opportunity to talk to my clients about their financial needs and I also get to offer them the different solutions that we have as far as finances is concerned. So for me it's an area where I, I have had to learn about what insurance is, different products and services that we have and so that I can give my clients the, the products that they need. And so my company being one that is totally focused on insurance and of course other financial products, I'd like to highlight a little bit about insurance. So where do we begin? What is insurance? In very simple terms, insurance is just a promise that a company makes to an individual or to another company and we promise to offer them a compensation in case they incur loss, maybe due to an accident or due, due to any un unfortunate circumstance with an intention of bringing them back to where they were before or, in, or to an even better situation. And that is what the insurance companies call indemnity. We want to indemnify our client, basically bring them back to a better position because of the loss that they incurred. And so, now that we know what insurance is, it's also good to know that there are different types of insurance. But before I get to that, I'd like to just let us know that insurance didn't just start yesterday with insurance companies. Insurance has been with us ever since, from actually the olden days. When I look at the Taita people, for example, that's where I come from, I read in my grandfather's book, he actually wrote a book about the Taita people. When I reached page 49, I saw that amongst the Taita people, when a, wife's, when a wife lost her husband, she was inherited by the brother of her husband or the cousin. And the reason for this was so that she could be taken care of and not suffer due to the loss of her husband. Now obviously today, those practices are not there anymore because the world has changed. The culture that we had then is different from the culture we have today. Culture has evolved. And so today, we, we mainly, de if you're a breadwinner, you have to work hard to take care of your family. But also that is where insurance comes in. We offer these products we call life insurance. So life insurance is a type of insurance that ensures that um, the breadwinner of a family, God forbid, if they are gone, they leave enough money behind to take care of their family, to, take care of their, to make sure that their family is protected. That's really why we have life insurance. And I know for most people, in Kenya especially, or maybe in Africa in general, we have not quite embraced life insurance. 
maybe partly it's because we still have the african mentality of community being able to take care of, being able to take care of each other in a communal level but the truth is with the current economic situation it's becoming increasingly difficult for us to still take care of each other and still meet our own personal needs and so as a result that's why insurance has come in with different products that are able to meet our needs both at family and at community level and at community level for example i'm thinking about what we call the last expense insurance cover and at this point i would like to talk briefly about what happens when somebody loses a loved one very often we hear us being given being told that uh, please let's raise some funds so and so has lost their loved ones we need to raise some money to give them a, a good send off and being the africans that we are we are usually able to raise the funds but like i said times are a bit challenging economically for our community for our society today and so it's becoming increasingly difficult to meet those fundraisings and that's why it's advisable to take the insurance cover for for last expense so that the community can easily take care of their people and then also we have um, other insurance plans which include general insurance that takes care of uh, buildings property and uh, we have also have medical medical insurance cover for individuals for corporates to make sure that when one is sick they go to hospital and they can just um, give their medical card for insurance and they and they are treated without having money at hand so insurance also comes in handy because maybe you get sick unfortunately and you don't have funds if you have a cover you're taken good care of and uh, the other insurance cover that I'd like to talk about is moto moto insurance is a must is ex- is an expectation from to us from the government that if you have a car you must have an, uh, uh, a moto insurance cover so so those are some of the insurances that we have and uh, without talking too much about insurance i think also for me what i've learned is also to meet my clients need as a financial advisor for me it's not just about insurance but also it's meeting my clients financial needs in totality sometimes i even have to talk about budgeting budgeting from the basics when you get your salary what do you do with it do you save do you invest do you take now the insurance that we are talking about so i talk about budgeting to my clients so that they know how to spend their money and use it right so that you have savings for future and also you get investments that are able to help you in in the future for you and also for your family and then so also when i get to meet my clients what i've learned from my job is i first of all want to know what are my clients financial needs so that i can give them the right products because we have we have an array of products in our insurance company we have an array of products that meet different needs so if it's a young person with children for example i'll talk to them about uh, investing in education insurance If it's just a single person, I'll talk to them about saving in a, in an instrument that will help them get a lump sum at some point. Or if it's somebody who just wants to build a fund for emergency, I'll talk to them about money market, just in investing in a money market fund that keeps increasing your funds so that in case of an emergency, you have somewhere to go to. There are people who ask me about what about equity frida, stock market? How can, can I invest in stock market? Well, I will ad, I usually advise that yes, stocks are good, but just be aware of the risk. High risk, high return, yes, but also a very high likelihood of high losses. For example, today you could buy shares worth 5 shillings for example per share and then you invest your 100,000 shillings there. In another 10 years time, maybe something catastrophic like corona happens and then the shares dip and you end up 
having to buy to sell your shares at say two shillings because maybe at that point you need cash and you have to liquidate your shares so you end up losing three shillings out of the five shillings that you spent on the shares so it's important for me that as I am speaking to my customers that I give them the right advice first of all it's important for me to know what advice to give so that means I need to have the right knowledge about my products and I need to have the right knowledge about what's going on in the market so that I can give the right advice to my customers. It is terrible to give wrong advice to a customer because that's when you find customers losing their money and they come back and say, oh, this person, she's a con man, she lied to me. That's very unfortunate. And unfortunately, it does happen. I've seen people give wrong advice and I've seen people lose their money because they were ill-advised. And so, what would I advise anyone wanting to come into insurance? Make sure it is what you want. And it's not just insurance, any career for that matter. If you want to get into any career, just make sure it's what you want. Get in, commit, learn the ropes, and keep learning. And most of all, if it's a service industry, serve your customers with your whole heart. In the financial industry, I want to serve my customers the best I can. I want them to say, I want to go to Frida because she's the best in the market. And so whatever <coughs> career that you undertake to do, do your best. Give it your whole heart and serve, serve, serve. And the money will follow you. Thanks for listening.